Hello everybody, um, Pete here. Oh my God, I look very tired. I have been up at about five o'clock this morning to get to Anderton's to do, uh, to do today's uh, filming. And now it is t almost 10 past 10 in the evening. So it's been a long day already. And uh, we got another day of filming tomorrow. Um, we're doing some more sounds like video. Uh, look at these bags, my oh, good lord. Uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's commented below. Um, I'm, I'm completely gobsmacked um, that people are actually watching this and uh, it means a lot to me. No, I, I must admit it means a lot to me. Uh, anyway, I've had loads of, of um, requests on videos um, and a lot of them have been about some uh, sexy chords um, and I thought I'd just kind of show you four chords that I kind of um, that I've used definitely in a few videos recently and um, which I've um, sort of probably borrowed for somebody else online somewhere uh, so I'm not going to take credit for it you know because I think we all sort of borrow from from uh, all the players that we listen to out there because there are so many great players um, out there and of course now with social media it is much easier to get um, to listen to all these fantastic people playing guitar um, so I thank you for watching these videos and thank you very much for all your support on the Anderton's videos as well anyway stop rambling so I did four uh, chords there at the beginning um, and sort of what I did was um, simply put is I'm playing a G, a D chord, not, and then a D, G chord, and then I play, a, and I play uh, an F minor, and then I sort of sneak in a, an F. So basically, chords a D, and then of course you. Know, You've got to spice it up a bit. I'm playing the Duesenberg star player, but into the Kemper, into the Kemper with um, a deluxe reverb um, profile. Um, so I kind of, uh, instead of playing a normal D, you know, when you put your finger on, you can play a D minor, which is a lovely chord. So very easy. One of those, and then you go to that one, and then you got some. Uh, Got some um, some lady crabs going on. Anyway, so you you move that D minus major seven up to uh, fifth fret, and you kind of go. It's a bit difficult for me to show you. I, I, I'm still running on the iPhone six camera there, um, and hopefully at some point I can I can um, get to use all the other other cameras as well and and make it look a little bit nicer. Anyway, so so what I'll do is I'll simply just do a it's like a, a D seven bar chord. Uh, but then I put my second finger on the third uh, string on the sixth fret, and then you get one of these. Now then I sort of open it up a little bit and, and make it a little bit more spicy uh, by moving some of the notes around to the third around. I'll keep the seven where it is, so I'll keep the first, I'll keep the seven, but the third, I'll move to here instead of up here. So move it there. So basically, you go, you 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 change it to the to the um, third. Um, so my my Danish and my English is not you know I need to get so you're in uh, third position with your finger here. So you got your third finger on the A string in the fifth fret. Then you got your second finger on the D string on the fourth fret. And then you got your fourth finger on the G string in the uh, in the sixth fret. You got that, and then you got your uh, your first finger on the D, on the B string up here. So you go, and then you're really sneaky. And then because you got the E string loose, you can go. You know, so that you could put that in if you like. You could leave it there if not. But these four here, anyway. Then you get the nine, so it's kind of a sneaky chord. So that's the D, so that's the first D. So first finger on the second string and the third fret, uh, second finger on the third 
fourth fret on the D string, uh, <laughs> third finger on the fifth fret on the A string, and fourth finger on the G string in the sixth fret. And of course with the lovely tremolo on the Duesenberg, it sounds nice. Right. Then we move on to the G chord. So normally you would do, you do this. So I'm kind of spicing it up, but I'm kind of putting on a seven on here. So you got your, you know, I'm just going to sort of go through it uh, quickly. So it's like having an F chord. You know, when you play an F over a G, that's really nice. So you go. But that's not really the chord. So what I'll do is I'll move that bar from these two and have and have these two loose, but I'll still kind of play the F and the A and then the G. So it sounds like this. You can also take this finger and put it down to there so it goes. But I prefer this one. I don't really prefer it. It's nice, both are really nice. So you can listen to it. Or you can play. So again, you know, fing finger fingering position is always sort of individual, and I never, I never say how people should do it and how they shouldn't do it because it's all individual. How you kind of find, you know, some people do a D chord, G chord like that. Some people like to do it like this, so they can do that, and some people do a C like this, and so other people do that. So whatever you want to do, that's absolutely cool with me. That and it's cool if you want to put your thumb around. That's brilliant. Uh, so anyway, so we are we are first finger goes um, on your on the G string on the second fret. Uh, and then th uh, second finger goes up here on the G on the top and then your third finger goes on the F here on the D string and then you have you don't play the A string but you then play the loose B and the loose E string and it sounds like that and those two together sound I think actually it's Jonathan Jeremiah I think I, I napped that from Anyway, so that sounds really nice. Then I sort of uh, thought I'd go down to the, to instead of playing a, a normal F barred chord like this F minor barred chord, um, I kind of played the F here, and I I'm still uh, muting the A string. So I go, so I got the E. You could you could play like that if you want. I prefer to play it with with these three fingers. So you got your um, and your second finger. You're all in. It's all in the second fret. So on the D string, you've got uh, you've got on the second fret. On the G string, you've got on the second fret. Again, loose B and E. So, and that's one of these chords where you can go A, and you can move them up. So you literally go just by having these two. And then change the bass, the bass note of it. So anyway, so we go your sexy D chord here, minus major seven to that guy, and then down to your F minus seven, something something lovely, and then a little cheeky one. Instead of playing your a normal F chord like that, all I do basically, I think this is a nap that from Eric Gales, and I thought that was a really cool chord. So you just go F. And then uh, on the second fret you got three here, so you got F and C, and the rest are just loose strings. A bit difficult to see there, but I'll try to do that. So it's basically just like a like a, a fifth of there, and everything else is loose. And nice. Look. So you go. Could end up with it, which is an E, but where I put the uh, the second, third finger, I'll, I'll replace that with the fourth finger in the in the fourth fret on the D string, and then I do the sus thing and move this one up. beginning, your D, 
and then your G, and then your F minor. So anyway, that was like four, five chords kind of thing, and I'm very, very tired now because it's been a very long day, and I've got another long day tomorrow, so I'm gonna see if I can hit the hay. Um, I'm just finishing a video up with me and Mick as well, because I'm editing. Uh, I'm just, I've just bounced some stuff over there in the old, uh, the old Logica. Um, so that's going down, something interesting. And um, thank you again, everybody, for watching these videos. I really appreciate all your comments below, and uh, it's really nice to see that so many people are so interested. Um, so uh, again, let me know. I'll try to read all the comments, but. Um, uh, as good as I can, there's a lot there, so um, I'm overwhelmed with all of them. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'll play these again for you, and then um, I'll see if I can get another video up for, video up for you um, in a week's time or something, or maybe even sooner than that. But here we are again, so these are the chords. See you soon guys, thank you very much, night night.